say his own friends did not help him get any medical attention. Such a disturbing story. Right now, police are still looking for the person who killed him. West Tuesday, Dave McDaniel, live in the neighborhood this afternoon, where police say this whole thing started. Dave. There's a lot going on Tuesday night. Sanford police investigators eventually tying this East Sanford intersection to the teenager who was blocked off at the hospital. This is the intersection they shot, shots were fired. Scott Drive and Ellen Place. Right after that shots fired call came in, this 17 year old was dropped off at Sanford's hospital with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. He did not survive, and now police are working to try to figure out why he was shot. And we're sitting here today talking about a 17-year-old who lost his life last night. And that's a tragedy in itself. Sanford police first responded to Lake Monroe Hospital Tuesday night around 8 o'clock, where 17-year-old Sedarian Cosby was dropped off. Later learning there was some sort of confrontation between a group of four, which included Cosby, and an unknown number of people in a dark blue or black Kia sedan. Shots were fired. The vehicle fled the area. Two of the three individuals with Mr. Cosby fled the area immediately. One of the people with the 17-year-old got him to a nearby home so he could be driven to the hospital. Then that person, according to police, took off too. These three individuals were with Mr. Cosby when he received a gunshot wound to his abdomen and was absolutely fighting for his life. They chose to run and worry about themselves. Sanford Police Chief Cecil Smith writing, they didn't help him get the emergency medical attention he needed, nor stay to assist law enforcement identify and locate the person or persons who took his life. Unacceptable. Right now it does look like we have two different caliber casings on scene, so that is what we're trying to determine as to who actually shot those rounds, but who had the different firearms. There's so much in this case police do not know. Who and how many in the car? Was it rival groups? Something personal. We are looking for the three individuals that were with Mr. Cosby, and we're looking for the individual or individuals that were in that dark in color Kia. Investigators asking the community to speak up. Anybody in that neighborhood that has information on these individuals, that's what we need right now is for them to come forward and work with us and help us bring justice. A good number of the homes in this community have either doorbell cameras or security cameras on their house that show this immediate area. Police say they have gathered several videos and they are pouring over those, not ready to release those as they continue to work leads. Reporting live in Sanford, Dave McDaniel, West Junior. Man, we back with another crazy story out of Florida, out of the city of Orlando. This is another crazy situation. You got a 17-year-old kid lost his life because he was involved in foolishness. We don't know what the situation is. The police don't even know what the situation is. That just show a kid was out with more kids at an inappropriate time of the night. And that's what happened. What you think was going to happen? They approached the car. Both sides started shooting. So the 17 year old and his crew from What's already been said. They approached the car. So obviously. They had to know who was in the car. Or they was. Finna hit a lick. They was finna rob whoever was in the car. They thought. It's four of them. And they got a gun. Whoever in this car to give up everything that just be the mindset when these kids out here committing crimes they think all this shit finna go cool, smooth real cool like ain't nothing gonna happen we gonna run in you know get everything and then we out in and out that's how every situation scheme or any crime that's what they think everything gonna be smooth in and out but every time you're doing something, you're taking a risk. Every time you're taking a risk. 
or losing your life or losing somebody that's with you in your group, your cousin, your homeboys, your friends, whatever. And then you responsible for anything happen to everybody in your group. And that go for everybody in the group as a person. If something happened to anybody around here, you probably was the last one they came and got. You still responsible for that. And that's exactly how the police going to treat it or something go wrong. They finna charge all three of y'all with this murder because they feel like y'all was on some hot boy shit. Y'all was on some hidden licks. And whoever was inside the car, you know, they got a defense. The only thing they did was stomp the gas. But most of the time you sitting in the car or whatever, you can say you were scared for your life. You seen a group of people walking up to your car that you didn't know. You don't know what they had. It was dark. You let the window down, open fire. You were scared, so you stomped the gas. But it, the longer that it takes for you not to contact the police makes your, your case worse. So it's starting to turn into something else. Is it gang affiliated? Is it, you know, what, what y'all knew each other? What was going on? Because innocent people on either side would have got in touch with the police by now. And then with the 17 year old losing his life and, and he came with a group and they run off and left. Well, what you expect? That's what you're going to get when you're hanging with other kids around there doing crimes. What you think somebody going to do in the midst of committing a crime, somebody get killed or somebody get really hurt? Everybody else going to stay there? So when the police get there, they caution y'all, oh, what y'all was doing? Oh, we was walking around, man, trying to rob somebody. Oh, we was looking for some quick money. Come on now. What criminal know you gonna stay that, that that you know gonna stay there? You know what I'm saying? Only people that's gonna stay on the scene is people that's that's righteous, people that really this is what happened. I seen people walking up to my car. It's dark out here. I ain't know what they was on. I opened fire. So, you know, they could go with that. You got a good lawyer. Only thing about it though, if you ain't got a good lawyer, you through. Cause nine times out of ten, they was black inside that, that 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 car, and they and they got video from the neighborhood. It's another crazy situation, but this the days that we living in. We in our last days. This type of stuff gonna happen. You running with a group of kids, running around committing crimes, doing what you want to do in the city. Every time you hitting licks, everybody coming out alive but it's gonna be one time where somebody died somebody critic critically get hurt or everybody get locked up that's exactly what's gonna happen i don't care how many times you get away with something eventually you're gonna get caught eventually somebody gonna lose their life it don't happen no other kind of way that's why it's the best thing for these kids to get an education and get them a regular job and build up from the bottom. Because all this quick money, easy money, you know, going to cost family members tears at the end of the day. That's why I always say you don't know what your child going to do or a kid. You don't know what they going to do once they hit the dough. Now you can come back and say, oh, he was a good kid, straight A's. He went to school all the time, good kid. But you ain't know him when he was out on the street with his homeboys. Because ain't no way he's supposed to be with somebody with no gun. Walking up on another car. You know, with y'all on. And if they wasn't about to rob, then they knew whoever was in the car. It's two gun shell casings on the scene. So that most likely mean that they had a gun and the people in the car had the gun. So, I mean, it is what it is. But let me know what y'all think about this crazy story. What, what y'all would have did if you in a car park somewhere, you know, it's dark outside. You see three, four people approaching your car. 
You got a gun right there to protect yourself. What you going to do? You going to wait till they get all the way up on the car to see what they finna do or what their intentions is? Or you going to let the window down and open fire because what it look like is what you think it's going to be. And they trying to rob you. But the only thing about it, though, if it really was that, I'm definitely not leaving the scene. I'm definitely going to stay on the scene because they took off running. So it ain't going to be no shootout. So if I did leave, I'm going down the street, but I'm going to make sure that I get everything situated so I don't look like I'm a suspect. That's how you clear yourself. But like I said, this is the days we're living in. And I don't know why they thought his friends was going to leave. These are all teens. Or these all in, in the midst. They was all in the midst of committing a crime. So it looked like it. they was. So who going to stay at a scene in the midst of them trying to commit a crime and somebody died in their group or somebody got hurt in their group? They going to do what young kids all over the world going to do. Take off and run. And watch it on the news. And then eventually to come out and they going to tell when they get caught. But at the end of the day, they got to go get them. They got to find out who they is. Unless they tell their mama and their mama bring one of them up there. And like, you better tell on everybody, you know, but that's about it, man. This is the world we living in. This is going to continue to happen. But let me know what y'all think about this crazy story. Young teen with a group of kids got in a situation, looked like they was about to commit a crime. One team got shot, hit all his homeboys with him. They took off and ran. Ain't nobody said nothing, don't nobody know nothing. But they gonna get caught, they kids. Kids always get caught. And you know, somebody dies, so they gonna, they gonna ramp it up. Police is everywhere in they city. They all around right now. You know, anytime something go down in somebody's city, police be out hot, doing roadblocks, just pulling people over for no reason, pulling you over for something that, you know, normally they'll keep stomp the gas right past you, but now they pulling you over. They pulling every car over. They ain't let nobody go through. Especially if they feel like you black. All the white folks can go through. All the black dudes, good insurance, whatever you is, we all finna check everybody down this line. I don't care if it's a hundred cars down here. Y'all might well get ready. But that's how I go when something like this happens, especially, you know, when it's young kids. But somebody die and they don't got no information, oh, they shutting everything down. Ain't nothing going on. Police is everywhere. Only people going to be good around your city right now is, is the tourists, people that coming in. They got different uh out-of-state tags. Them going to be the only ones that's good. But that's how it happened around in any city that you in. When somebody get killed like that, you know, it's a group of people, shots fired. They don't got no information. They shutting the city down. Everybody going through checks, in or out. But like I said, this is the days we living in, man. It's a dangerous world to be in. You got to watch all your surroundings because you never know when you could be at the wrong place at the wrong time. You never know, you know, what these people got going on, what's on their mind. You know, if they mad today, they want to kill people they don't know that day. All this type of stuff going on in this world today. So you got to be careful on stuff you involve yourself in and the people that you surround yourself around because you might not be asking enough questions. The people you involving yourself with, you might not know what they got going on. You can get killed or get hurt because of somebody else's situation that ain't got nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's kind of hard to, you know, put that out because this world is real wicked and dangerous for the kids and for anybody you know, that ain't got a righteous mind. But we're going to continue to see these type of crimes. We're in our last days. But let me know what y'all think about this crazy story. We out.